Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Chicago Bears. With that, let's get out to venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Standing by with the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You <laughs> know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay. Here we go from Soldier Field. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. Here's Pat O'Donnell on now to punt it away. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Brady now on first down. 
And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. To throw once more on second and 10. Brady, he completes it to Evans. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Shotgun now for Brady. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And way up past the 35 before Let's he's go, taken baby. down. 23 yards on the play. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now Brady on the bootleg. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. To Sean Gibson. Give him the sack on the safety blitz. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. Now Brady. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard, and it's fourth. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? Completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. This. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guy trusts the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Throwing here, Trubisky. And a hookup here to Allen Robinson. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. This is Cohen, and he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second in inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are. Stay with who you know and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third hey. level. On second and 12, Trubisky. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And Gens got it! And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Now they'll run it with Cohen. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On second down, it's Cohen, and he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Open man is Miller. He's got it. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 21 yards there on third down. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 31. Play action, now Trubisky. And Graham's got it, complete. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Here's Trubisky. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Mike, 
Trubisky to throw again. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the two now, second and goal. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. A lot of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. William Golston with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. You sound like you're going negative on me. I was. I was. It sounds like, it sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to give the, Need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. That throw by Brady incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks... They'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. To throw on second and ten, Brady. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He's going to let this one go deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. 
They didn't have a ton of yards to pick up on that third down, but there was no way they were playing that one safe. They decided to take that one downtown. They must have felt that they had a big play that was waiting for them. Unfortunately, it was incomplete. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Put up. Now Trubisky on first down, throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Now it's Trubisky toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. You're down three under a minute to go. How aggressive are you going to be in this spot? Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only down three. I mean, it might as well be even going into the half. That's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. 35 seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. On second and seven, Brady. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. On play action, it's Brady. And this is caught by Evans. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Two. 
So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It'll be a 51-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Field goals, all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. This is taken at the three. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play call is just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big shot down. Nope, nope, nope. Guaranteed head coach is like, don't get crazy. Take the knee. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Not too much to show you scoring-wise in that first half. Just a couple of field goals make up all the scoring. But the teams are ready to go at half number two. So to bring it your way, let's get right back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Brady. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Off the bootleg, Brady. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Wait, set, 53! Set, set, no. Three ball, three ball. Hey, 56! Brady now on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. 
almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Leaves him with two to go on second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept that minute by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Here's Brady. He finds his target. It's Evans. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So into Bear territory now. This is first and ten at the 42-yard line. Brady going to throw, and he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. 
On the counter, here's Jones. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Check, 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 check. Play action. Now it's Brady. That is caught inside the five. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start with a give to Cohen, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Trubisky to throw, and his throw is incomplete. Third down, Trubisky steps away. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Right there. 
54 Mike. Hey, check, check. <laughs> First down, a run with Cohen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Now Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll run on second down with Cohen. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, yeah, great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run. This is Cohen. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 24. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. On third and one, it's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he will fight his way in. Not giving up there. And he's got a Bears touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here. That's what's called finishing the run. Making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle. No running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got Back to throw, Brady. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off of a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch him on their heels. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. To throw, it's Brady. This one complete to Scott Miller. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Hey, 
Wait, is that 53? Flight's 59. They're going to need some therapy after this. Wait, three hit. Sugar, sugar. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And this one is right through. And it'll be a hot time in Ebor tonight. The Bucks have won the football game. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Chicago.